Wardens are the most powerful mobs in all of Minecraft, which is why I wanted to make them even stronger. A Warden that can transform, has more abilities, and is overall 100 times tougher than a regular Warden. And now, for the next 100 days, I'll be surviving as the Warden Shapeshifter in-game. Will I be able to defeat the terrifying Witherlord and turn into my ultimate Warden Dragon form? You'll have to watch until the end to find out. On day one, I spawned in as a baby Warden Shapeshifter. My dad stood beside me, ready to welcome me into the world. My boy, you have incredible power that nobody else does. Us, but we must hurry. Something horrible is coming. I started to run away with my dad when out of nowhere, the ground opened in front of us, releasing the almighty Witherlord. I need your shape-shifting power to take over this world. Come to me. The Wither Lord prepared to strike me down, but before he could, my dad transformed into a giant warden dragon. The two of them clashed in a huge battle. My dad gave it everything he had, but unfortunately, he was no match for the Wither Lord. Run, son! Find the six warden totems and unlock your full potential before it's too late. Suddenly, the Wither Lord used dark magic on my dad, transforming him into a corrupted Wither Dragon. Dad! My dad turned on me. He had lost his mind. In a panic, my shape-shifting powers were unleashed, and I was transformed into a warden leopard. I knew I didn't stand a chance against my dad, so I ran for my life. On day two, I was running with my leopard speed, trying to escape the attack of the Wither Lord. Thanks to my cat form, I was getting ahead until suddenly, Wither Wardens began to crawl up all around me. The Wither Lord has corrupted my people. I didn't want to hurt them, but I tried to slash them away using my leopard claws. Even with my attacks though, they wouldn't give up. I ran away until I was cornered inside of a cave. I thought I was done for until I had an idea. I let out a powerful sonic boom roar that caused rubble to fall in the entrance of the cave. I was now sealed away from the Wither Wardens. That should hold them off. Suddenly, the wall behind me was melted away by a powerful laser attack, revealing my corrupted dad. I had nowhere to run as he sent another powerful blast down onto me, and I felt into the darkness, unsure of where I would land. On day three, I landed inside of a mysterious area where a pyramid towered before me. I would have died, but thanks to my leopard form, I was immune to fall damage. What is this place? A strange energy attracted me towards the temple, and on instinct, I picked up a totem from the altar. Suddenly, my body began to change into a new form form. I gained long fangs and powerful wings. I was now a warden bat with five more hearts. This has to be one of the six totems my dad told me to find. It must be the key to unlocking my powers and saving my people. Just then, a massive wither monster arrived and destroyed the monument. Come here, little shapeshifter. You're going to the wither lord. On days four through five, I was facing off with a wither monster. I used my new bat wings to fly into the sky and evade his attacks. I used my new whirlwind ability to try and fight back, but the wither monster was stronger than anything else I had faced so far. I need to find a way out of here. I spotted a narrow passage and took cover inside where I found another portal. I flew through it and re appeared in the nether in an area surrounded by boiling hot lava. Is that monster still following me? Just then, a giant wraith came out of nowhere and pulled me down into the pit below. You may have fire resistance, but you can't hold your breath forever. I struggled against the wraith, but he was too strong. I couldn't escape. Just as I thought I was going to drown in the lava, a little firebird swam to my aid 
and knocked me free from the wraith's grasp. Come with me, quick! I followed the bird before it was too late. On days six through seven, the firebird and I arrived inside of a cavern where we took cover from the Wither Lord's forces. I'm glad you're okay. My name is Cinder. My people have served wardens for years and I wish to help you on your journey. Thank you. I'm searching for all six of the warden totems. I can help you with that. Follow me. Cinder took me to another part of the nether where a massive monument stood before us. There I could see the next totem waiting for me. There it is. I ran up to grab it, but before I could, the totem vanished, leaving a map in its place. The lost treasure of the nether? It looks like you have to complete a trial to get the totem. Find the lost treasure of the nether and you'll be rewarded. Suddenly, the wither wardens flew in to attack us both. I'll hold them off. Hurry on your quest. I left Cinder behind and began to follow the treasure map while I still had the chance. On days eight through nine, the map took me to a shipwreck at the shore of a lava beach. This looks like a good place to start. I began to search the ship for any clues and managed to find a treasure chest. That must be it. Suddenly, ghasts came out of nowhere. Hey, we're haunting this ship. Get out of here. The ghasts began to shoot hot fireballs down at me. So I spread my wings and flew up into the sky. I transformed into a leopard and attacked the mobs with my claws, using the momentum of my fall. The ghasts didn't stand a chance. I'm a lot tougher than I look. I was about to claim the treasure when suddenly a massive piglin pirate ship pulled up to shore. The treasure is ours. Get him, boys. They rushed off the ship and bombarded me with their numbers. I took multiple fatal wounds, causing everything to go dark. On days 10 through 12, I woke up in a cage around the piglin ship. In my base warden form, I transformed into a warden leopard and used my empowered sonic boom roar to break open the cage. The piglins chased after me as I headed under the ship to find the lost treasure of the nether that I had been seeking. Unfortunately, the piglin captain stopped me in my tracks. Oh no, you don't. He slashed at me with his sharp sword while his men tried to overtake me with their numbers. At this rate, I was going to lose. Just then, I spotted TNT in the corner of the ship and got an idea. Over here! The piglins foolishly charged towards me and hit the TNT, causing the whole ship to explode. On days 13 through 15, I woke up under the lava with low health, but I managed to survive the explosion. Just then, I spotted the treasure chest at the bottom of the lava lake. I have to get it. I swam towards it as fast as I could, but I was losing air. Suddenly, I heard a voice behind me. I turned around and realized the piglins had turned into skeletons and were still chasing after me. Don't let him escape. I picked up the pace and just before I was going to drown, I managed to open the chest. Inside was the second warden totem. Suddenly, more of my shape-shifting power were awoken and I transformed into a warden eel with five more hearts. I can now breathe underwater and under lava. The skeleton piglins closed in, but I wasn't afraid. I activated my new electrical powers and zapped them into pork chops. Time to look for the next totem. I spotted another portal and swam through it to see where it would take me. I reached the other side of the portal on days 16 through 18, only to find myself inside of the ocean. Good thing I'm a warden eel now. Near the portal was an underwater city filled with guardians. They were under attack by the Wither Lord. You can't defeat me, puny fishes. He then shot out a beam of darkness that transformed all the innocent guardians into horrible wither guardians. <laughs> Soon, all creatures will crumble under my power. All I need now is that shit shifting water. Oh no, he's spreading his disease to more than just wardens. I have to get the other totems fast. I knew I had to swim away, but when I turned around, I was startled by an ancient wither guardian. Not so fast. Ah! 
I used my new electric powers to zap the giant Wither Guardian. This accidentally attracted the attention of the Wither Lord. The Wither Guardians turned their attention to me and swam towards me, starting a chase. I had no choice but to run away. There's too many of them. On days 19 through 22, I was being pursued by the Wither Guardians, who were surprisingly fast. As I was swimming, I tried to use my electric eel powers on them, and I was able to knock out a few. Take that! However, more and more kept coming, even though I was swimming farther and farther from the underwater city and the Wither Lord. I have to hide! I took cover in an ocean ruin that I had found, and watched watched as the Wither Guardian swam past, losing me. I can't hide here forever. I looked around when suddenly I spotted a massive door hidden inside the ocean ruin. Whoa, what's behind there? I swam up to the door, but when I got too close, it disappeared. A mirage! The ground at the bottom of the ruins transformed into magma blocks and began to suck me down towards them, deeper into the depths of the ocean. I fought against the current, but it was way too strong. I'm going to get caught at the bottom and be stuck forever. As I was being pulled down, I saw a narrow passageway in the ground where no magma blocks were. That way, I narrowly swam through the bubbles and into the cave. I decided that the best thing for me to do would be to explore and see if I could find a way out through the other side. On days 23 to 26, I found myself on the other side of the passage. It was a dark, spooky cavern. This place gives me the creeps. I used my natural warden glow to navigate through the darkness of the depths, as well as my super warden sensing powers. If my ancestors were able to move around blind, so can I. Suddenly, I sense something huge coming towards me. Hello? There you are. It was the ancient wither guardian. I was ambushed. They shot a deadly laser at me. Not so tough now that you can't escape. I called a lightning blast down onto the ancient Wither Guardian as he descended upon me. As he swam closer, he summoned some minions to try to overtake me and assist him in his fight. I fought back using my slashes as we fought in the cramped caves. I made short work of his minions with my lightning strikes, but the ancient Wither Guardian remained ferocious. I tried to fight back with my electric powers, zapping them with thousands of shocks, but it seemed to have little effect on their armored skin. Guess I'm gonna have to try a different tactic. I swam upwards to try and get away before they could end my journey for good. I made my way to the surface and transformed back into my bat form to try and fly to land. Once I made it to the shore, I found myself in front of a temple. What is this place? I morphed back into my base form and walked into the temple. There, I found the third warden totem waiting for me. Yes! One step closer to unlocking my full potential. As I was about to grab the warden totem, a massive ancient sniffer fell from the ceiling, ready to attack. Get out! On days 27 through 30, I was locked in combat with the ancient sniffer. She would shoot beams of ancient energy at me, so I transformed into my bat form, and I tried my best to evade her shots with my bat wings and speed. I circled the enemy quickly, releasing sonic blasts safely out of their reach. The ancient sniffer fired back with some yellow laser blasts and some razor sharp leaves, but I was able to dodge them easily. Time to try Try my secret strategy. I transformed into my leopard form mid-air and fell down from the sky onto the ancient sniffer, dealing immense damage to her. Give me back my babies! Those nasty wither wardens stole them! Did you say wither wardens? I then explained to her that this was a massive misunderstanding. Look, I'm on your side. I'm trying to save warden kind from the wither lord. If you really are a friend, Friend, then find my three lost eggs and I'll give you the next totem. It's a deal. I then set off leaving the temple. Eventually, I spotted a large bird flying overhead. That might be a sign. I used my leopard speed to stalk after the bird and see where they were headed. 
For days 31 to 34, the bird had led me to their nest, where I spotted one of the three sniffer eggs I was looking for. That mama bird took the egg by mistake. I transformed into my bat form to fly up to the nest and reclaim the egg. But just when I was about to grab it, the mama bird intervened. <gasps> Get away from my babies! She attacked me with her sharp claws and beak, which forced me to retreat and leave the nest. And stay out! I'm going to have to think of something clever. Nearby, I spotted a chicken. That gives me an idea. I morphed into my leopard form again and attacked the chicken, killing it. Luckily for me, it dropped a few eggs. Perfect. I then climbed back up into the nest and carefully swapped the chicken eggs with the sniffer egg. Hopefully they don't notice the difference. It it worked. The mama bird didn't notice the swap, and I was able to jump off the nest with my first sniffer egg in hand. Two more to go. As I was searching for the next egg, I spotted a wither guardian swimming around the shore. Then they disappeared into the ocean. My warden senses are tingling. They are telling me to follow that wither guardian. I jumped into the water as an eel and swam after them. For the days of 35 to 38, I followed the Wither Guardian through the sea, where they swam to an underwater kitchen, where the next sniffer egg was. I can't wait to have some delicious scrambled eggs. He's going to eat the egg. I have to stop this. I set my sights on the Guardian and aimed my electricity at it, zapping it and immobilizing the Guardian for a moment, giving me time to snatch the sniffer egg. There's a warded shapeshifter. Get him. An ancient wither guardian came swimming towards the kitchen, ready to attack me. Got a blast! I started swimming away, but the giant ancient wither guardian was too fast and started gaining on me. I have to lose them, but how? I used my quick thinking and warden senses and found an old machine at the bottom of the ocean that gave me a great idea. Take this! I zapped the machine, giving it power and causing the gate to activate. The gate could reach the top of the ocean. They were unable to follow me now, giving me the opportunity to make it back to the shore, where I turned back into my base form. This time, I was now near a jungle, so I entered to look for the final egg. What's that up there? I noticed something in the trees. It was the final sniffer egg. One more to go. I transformed into my leopard form on days 39 to 42 and proceeded to climb the tree. Once I reached the top, I went to grab the sniffer egg, only for a monkey to swing in and snatch it before me. Hey, get back here! I followed the monkey in a pursuit for the final egg, jumping from tree to tree, high above the jungle floor. Thanks to my leopard form, I was able to jump quickly, letting me keep up with the monkey's speed. This is my egg! The the monkey then knocked me off the tree and kept moving, causing me to plummet into the forest below. Now it was much harder to see where the monkey was going. You're not getting away that easily. I let out a powerful sonic boom roar, knocking the monkey out of the trees and on even playing ground with me. Take the egg. I'm out of here. Then they dropped the egg and ran away. Ha! That'll teach you to mess with a warden shapeshifter. I picked up the egg and used my warden senses to head back to the temple. Once I returned, I presented the three eggs to the ancient sniffer. My babies! Thank you so much! Here's your prize. She allowed me to claim the totem for myself, and with its power, I transformed into a Warden Sniffer with five more hearts and a new Warden Sniffer beam attack. This new form is awesome. It's enhancing my Warden senses. Suddenly, the eggs began to hatch, and three baby Sniffers spawned into the world. However, they instantly started to run around, leaving the temple. Chase after them, please. Yes, ma'am. I followed after the baby sniffers, who were a lot faster than I expected. They led me to a desert, where they started digging together into the same place. Now stop, little ones! You need to get back home to your mom! I looked into the hill they were digging and realized that the little sniffers were uncovering a mysterious underground building. 
Wait a sec, were you guys giving me a lead to the next totem? Thanks! Suddenly, wither skeletons rose from the ground and started attacking me. I had to protect the babies, so I fought back. You leave them alone! The skeletons swarmed me with their bows, but I attacked back with my new sniffer beams. The horde of skeletons overwhelmed my space, one after another striking me with their swords, corrupting my vision for a few seconds. They also affected me with their magic, dealing extreme damage. I used my fire, slowing down the herd and illuminating them in flames. I was able to tank their endless attacks with my new giant form. After a long battle, I took out all the wither skeletons and luckily the baby sniffers were all safe hurry home before you're hurt little guys I parted ways with the baby sniffers and went into the building they had dug up. For days 47 to 50, I started to explore the underground temple. There were many different twists and turns around the structure, and it was easy to get lost. Eventually, I reached a dead end. That can't be right. I started to use my sniffer nose to try and sense a new path, smelling everything in sight. After a bit of searching, I located a strange wall. I used my sonic boom to break through it, revealing more of the ruin. Bingo! I entered the new passage and went deeper into the temple, arriving in a massive room. Suddenly, a giant wither skeleton emerged from the shadows. We've got you now, shapeshifter. We're going to hand you over to the wither lord. Not if I have anything to say about it. Oh, you won't. <laughs> They used a ground pound attack on me, which brought out a lot of my anger. I retaliated with my new warden sniffer beam, trying to render them immobile, but it didn't seem to work. They attacked back with a huge beam of darkness, causing me to have more rage. I struck him with my flamethrower, weakening him greatly. Time to end this game of chess. I took the giant down using my strongest moves, but this did not end the fray. To my surprise, more smaller skeletons arrived, ready to attack me. I need to keep moving. I'm already so behind. Before the skeletons could start their onslaught, I ran deeper into to the temple to evade them. As I was running for days 51 to 54, I found another room where the next totem was waiting for me. I knew it would be somewhere in this ruin. The mutated wither skeletons were closing in on me. I had to think fast before they caught up. I used my sonic boom on the entrance, causing rubble to fall, covering it. No one could get in now. Time to get that totem. I approached the totem, but when I got closer, a mutant enderman and drop down in front of me to stop me. What do you think you're doing? Claiming that totem, step aside. I continued towards the totem to grab it, but the freak teleported in front of me. You're not getting that totem until you complete my ancient trials. You're on! The mutant Enderman teleported us both out of the room to begin my trial. On days 55 through 58, I found myself in a dig site with the mutant Enderman. For your first trial, you must locate all the dinosaur bones. Good luck to you! The Enderman vanished, and I took off to start my search. I used my sniffer nose to work out where the different dinosaur bones were buried. Soon, I started digging them all up, one by one. I was making great progress when I accidentally dug into a hidden nest of large lizards. Our home! What have you done? You'll pay for this! They came rushing out of their nest to attack me. They were small, but vicious. As they left at me, they bit and did everything in their power to damage me as much as possible. I didn't hesitate and immediately fired my sonic boom at them, managing to knock some of them off. In a combination with my beam, many began to become overpowered by my strength. Eventually, I managed to scatter their numbers and drive them off. Relieved, I watched as they scurried away, revealing that the final bone was in their den. Nice! This is the last one! Out of nowhere, the mutant enderman from before appeared in front of me. Looks like you've managed to collect all the bones. Well done. However, it is now time for your next challenge! 
On days 54 through 62, I watched in awe as the dig site transformed into a pedestal. For this challenge, you must reconstruct the bones into their dinosaur form before sunset. Your time begins now. Go! The Enderman disappeared as I began frantically building the dinosaur skeleton using all the bones I had gathered. As I assembled them, it started to tower up higher and higher. I started to get worried, but then I realized that I was able to transform into my bat form. Luckily, it made navigating around much easier, and I was able to reach everything. Still, I needed to hurry, and I managed to finish just as the sun began to set. And there we go! Finished! Right as I put the last of the bones into place, the mutant enderman reappeared in front of me. Good job! You completed the second task! Now, however, it's time for your final test! You must survive the disaster that no other dinosaur could! What? Oh no, you don't mean! I felt the ground begin to shake as the sky above me turned red. I looked up just in time to see that meteors began raining down around me, smashing into the ground. I began running for my life, trying to avoid getting smashed. On days 63 through 66, I was doing my best to avoid the meteors falling from the sky above me. I transformed into my leopard form for its speed and agility evading as best as I could. Through all the chaos, I heard someone calling out for help. Please, someone, anyone, help. I turned around and saw a herd of cows surrounded by lava. Oh no, I've got to help them before it's too late. I rushed over and began to build a bridge for the cows to use to escape. One by one, they made it across. And just as the last cow passed the bridge, the final meteor came crashing down into the ground, exploding the area the cows had just escaped from. Wow, that was close. Suddenly, the mutant enderman appeared in front of me again. Great job. Fantastic work. You've managed to pass all my tests. The totem is yours. They handed me the totem, and I felt myself transform into the warden dinosaur. I gained five more hearts and new powers. Awesome! Only two more totems left. I was about to set off and begin the long journey to find the last totem when I turned to see the cows I had helped. We want to thank you for your help. Please, come with us. We know where the next totem is. No way! Thank you! I followed the cows as they led me towards my next goal. On days 67 through 70, I was following the herd of cows towards the next totem when I started to get a weird feeling. Do you guys feel that? Feel what? It feels like we're being watched. Without warning, the Wither Lord appeared in front of us, blocking our path. <laughs> Hello there, my shape-shifting friend. I see you've obtained more totems. Well done. That's right, and after I get the last two, I'm going to take you down once and for all. Not if I capture you first. The Wither Lord lunged at me, but I was able to shapeshift and dodge his attack. Nice try, but I'm so much faster and stronger now. Impressive. Let's see how you handle this. He turned his attention to the herd of cows. He began zapping them all, turning the entire group into a bunch of wither cows. No! The wither cows began to shamble towards me, closing in on me like a horde of zombies. Stop, please, snap out of it. They drew closer and closer. I didn't want to hurt them, but they weren't leaving me any choice. Just as I was about to start defending myself, I heard a voice. Hey you, follow me. We've got to get out of here. Without a second thought, I ran past the wither cows, making it to the wolf. I followed them closely as we retreated together. On days 71 through 74, I was being chased by a herd of wither cows as I followed behind a mysterious wolf. Despite our speed, the wither cows were managing to catch up to us. I turned around and tried to use my sonic boom roar to gain some space between us, but it was useless. They just kept coming. 
Come on, this way. I followed the wolf as we darted into some cover. We watched silently as the wither cows lost our trail and continued past us. <sighs> Finally, that was close. Who are you? Why did you help me? I'm Kip, and I saved you because I need help. An evil alpha wither has taken over my pack, and I can't stop them. Take me there. The wolf and I set off back towards their den. As we arrived, I surveyed the area and spotted the fifth totem amongst Kip's pack. Yes, looks like I'll be able to help your pack, Kip, and get to the next totem. I tried sneaking towards the totem, hoping to get its power before the alpha wolf realized I was there. But the monstrous wolf detected me immediately. Who dares to enter my den? On days 75 through 78, I found myself being confronted by the Alpha Wither. Hand over the totem! Not a chance. Only the Alpha may have the totem. Only the Alpha? How do I become one? By completing the full moon battle, the winner of the fight is dubbed the rightful alpha of the pack and awarded the totem as a trophy. Oh yeah? Then count me in. I challenge you to the full moon battle. Then it's time for us to fight. To the death! The Alpha Wither charged forward, slashing at me with his razor-sharp claws. I braced myself, taking the hit, but retaliating with my shape-shifting powers, he didn't stand a chance, and I used my different forms to overwhelm him quickly. Easy enough. Hand over the totem. <sighs> You didn't actually think I'd let you win, did you? The Alpha Wither let loose with an ear-splitting howl, summoning his pack to his side, ready to aid him in the fight. Oh, come on, that's cheating. On days 79 through 82, I was fighting the entire pack of Wither Wolves for the fifth totem. Taking on the Alpha Wither was easy enough, but fighting multiple enemies all at once was proving to be a real challenge. There wasn't any way I was going to be able to fight off an entire pack on my own. Just as things were getting desperate, I had an idea. I transformed into my dinosaur form and unleashed a powerful stomp attack, sending all the goons flying flying back. That's better. This is between me and you. I blasted the Alpha Wolf with my blue flame attack, burning him in the cloud of fire. The Alpha Wither began boiling with rage and retaliated with his claws, slicing into me. I hit him with a thunderous sonic boom, causing him to fall to my might. All hail the new Alpha. I scooped up the fifth totem, transforming into a Warden Wolf. I gained five more hearts and new powerful claws. Nice, now I only have one more totem to go. As I was turning to leave, I saw something familiar zip past me and begin attacking the pack. My corrupted dad had found us somehow and was fighting the wolves. On days 83 through 86, I was in shock as I watched my corrupted dad tearing the wolf village apart. Dad, don't do this. Please stop. I know you're in there. He turned to me and sent out a powerful attack. I managed to dodge it, but I wasn't getting through to him. I tried to use my different shape-shifting powers to snap him out of it, but nothing was working. I stared at him, watching as he continued his assault, frozen in place. The wolves didn't stand a chance against him. This feels hopeless. How could I get him to listen to me? He's going to destroy everything and I can't stop him. Kip came running up to me, snapping me out of it and bringing my attention back. Listen, I'll evacuate the village and get everyone to safety. You need to go and find the Warden Heart. It's the only way to return your dad to normal. Kip tossed a map towards me before running off to start the evacuation. He was right. I needed to hurry and save my dad. I set off towards the location on the map. On days 87 through 90, I was following the route on the map when I spotted a giant tower surrounded by a lake of lava in the distance. I tried to get closer, but as I approached, a death knight blocked my path. Stop, I don't want to fight. Please, just let me through. My dad is in danger. Sorry, pal, no can do. I keep little weaklings like you from passing by. There's some really dangerous terrain coming up and I only let people through who are strong enough to survive. I'm a shapeshifter. If anyone could survive out there, I can. You, <laughs> a likely story. 
Do you have any idea how incredibly rare shapeshifters actually are? Yeah, I think I do. <laughs> the Death Knight ran off in fear, and I was free to continue my route towards the Warden Heart. On days 91 through 93, I walked up to the edge of the lava lake. Fortunately for me, I sensed the Warden Heart on top of the giant tower that was at the center of the Lake of Fire. Whoa, okay, well, here goes nothing. I transformed into a bat and flew towards the Warden Heart when a phoenix came out of nowhere and knocked me out of the sky. Stop, get away, intruder! I fell into the lava, but quickly transformed into my lava eel form so I could swim around easily. Ain't no way he survived that. I hid under the surface till the phoenix left. After being sure they were gone, I swam back to the shore and poked my head out to check the area. Looks clear. I guess I'm going to have to continue on foot. I transformed into my wolf form and began sneaking my way towards the warden heart, making my way up towards the top of the structure. As I reached out and grabbed the warden heart, a mighty roar echoed through the air. I guess it's time to test this thing out. As my dad came charging at me, I held out the warden heart and my vision went white. On days 94 through 96, I found myself inside of a dream realm. Where am I? Am I inside my dad's mind? As I looked around, I saw my dad locked inside of a cage. Bronzo, is that you? How did you? Run! I felt a presence and slowly turned around to reveal a wither sword was right behind me. Oh, I'm not letting you escape here. You and your dad will soon belong to the Wither Lord. Let him go now, or else you'll face my wrath. You really think you can beat me? I beat your dad and took control of him. You're going to be next. I'm not going to lose, not to you. The Wither Sword lunged at me in a rage and I prepared myself for his attacks. On days 97 and 98, I was in a fight against the Wither Sword in an attempt to free my dad from their control. The Wither Sword launched shadow balls at me that dealt a lot of damage. I retaliated with my sonic boom and wolf slash attacks, but he seemed unfazed. He was too powerful to defeat, but I had an idea. I'm coming for you, dad. I ran over to the cage and broke it open, releasing my dad. We both turned towards the Wither Sword and unleashed a sonic boom attack. With both of us combining our power, we were able to take out the Wither Sword. As he died, I found myself waking back up in the real world. I ran over to my dad to check on him. He was finally free. Thank you for saving me, son. Here. I can finally give you this. My dad handed me the final totem, transforming me into a warden dragon. I gained 10 hearts and a new power. Finally, it's time to end this once and for all. On day 99, I returned to the nether. In front of me stood the Wither Lord's fortress. I readied myself and began flying towards its walls. As I entered the fortress, Wither forces attempted to stop me, ready to attack and defend the Wither Lord. They didn't stand a chance though, and I shot a barrage of lasers from my mouth as the Wither Dragon, leveling the area and destroying their forces. Despite all the destruction, I couldn't find the Wither Lord anywhere. Show yourself, Wither Lord! It's time to put an end to this! Just then, the Wither Lord's top guard stepped out from behind the rubble to stop me. You'll never get to my king! Your story ends here! Die! The Wither Monster surged forward, bringing his hands around to slam me out of the air. As he hit, he gave me a Wither Effect that began to sap at my health. I put some distance between us and shot back with my giant beam attack, scattering rays of burning white lasers in his direction. He retaliated by shooting Wither Skulls that exploded around me, dealing massive damage. Quickly, I transformed into my eel form and hid in the lava to hit him with lightning attack. I took him by surprise and took the opportunity to transform into my warden sniffer form and bombarded him with sonic booms, fire, and beams. As he lunged forward for another desperate attack, I stepped back and transformed once more into my dragon form. It was time for the final blow. With one last spray of laser beams, the wither monster perished. I'm going to end this once and for all. With a renewed burst of energy, I charged 
forced my way into the remains of the Wither Lord's throne room. On day 100, I finally confronted the Wither Lord in his own palace. He was waiting on his throne, surrounded by all my people, corrupted and in cages. Well, well, well. It looks like you finally managed to unlock your full power. Too bad it's not enough. You're still too weak to stop me. This is your last chance. Free my people or face my wrath. Never. Once I harness the power of the shapeshifter, nothing will stop me from taking over the world. I see. Well then, you leave me no choice. I mustered all the strength I had and lunged towards the Wither Lord, ready to put a stop to him. I shot sonic boom blasts at the Wither Lord as he lunged at me. When he got close, he slammed his hands together, knocking me back. Not wasting a moment, I transformed into my T-Rex form to gain the advantage. As I charged forward, I leapt into the air, hoping to land a mighty stomp attack, but he teleported behind me and shot me with a deadly laser. I turned into my wolf form, gaining a speed advantage over my foe. I ran, slashing with my razor claws and biting with my powerful teeth as I maneuvered around the Wither Lord. He countered me by releasing Wither Skull attacks, catching me in a blast. The room exploded around me. It was an epic battle, but finally, I mustered everything I had left, remembering that all of my people were counting on me. I transformed into my dragon form and released one final mighty barrage of laser attacks, destroying the Wither Lord completely. It was finally over. As the Wither Lord died, I watched as everyone around me began to turn back to normal. I had ended the Wither Lord's reign. Yes, Bronzo!